Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and this is The Weekly. Your place for worship encouragement, updates, everything you need to know and get answers to your questions regarding worship flags. So welcome, how's your midweek check-in? What are you up to? Do you have kids going back to school? I think most of you know that I'm in Canada in our summer is different our summer break is different the children go back to school in September so we have July and August and so we're still smack dab in the middle of summer I know a lot of you are getting your kids ready to go back to school uh, but regardless it is still awesomely beautiful outside I know in, in some parts it's super hot um, but today I want to talk to you uh, just a little bit about the going deeper. So I've got a few things that I want to talk to you about. On Saturday we had a really great class on, hey Pamela, we had a really good fire catchers classroom cl and what we did, uh, we talked about going deeper and how to do that. I encourage you to go back and watch that video. Um, however, at the, um, at the end of the class we had a challenge and the challenge is to write your own psalm. Hi, Dorothy. Um, to write your own psalm. And so I'd given one of the, the exercises or one of the ways that we can do this is through an, either an acrostic. Now there's a lot of ways to write it. So I'm just giving you two just in case a place that you can start uh, and where to go with that. Um, so there's a there's two types that I would recommend that you start with. It's very easy to do either an acrostic psalm or a response an answer, um, uh, an action in response uh, um, method. So the acrostic is you take a word and you can go from the alphabet or like A, B, C, D and every line starts with the next letter or you can take a word like the word worship and you do W, O, R, S, H, I, P and just make a, a response like that or a psalm that in a action in response write it out and then the challenge so that's if that's you love that idea uh, also even take it further and dance it out so if you want to go deeper in worship if you want to uh, to expand and go to the next level there's really no other way to do it than actually to spend time with the Lord and that's how it's gonna happen and so practice doing this uh, so I'd like to see in the group you're gonna see mine probably in a couple of weeks we're gonna be going to our family but uh, holiday spot and I'll be doing my psalm there and just this week I wanted to let you know again the what the best sellers are I'm always amazed and and there's just so much activity on the yard today there's the dog and the Lion of Judah again on Monday alone three out of ten orders were for the Lion of Judah. Incredible. Uh, he is on the move. The lion is roaring tonight. And so if you actually have that flag, I'd love to get some testimonies from you and see what is it that, that you needed and why did you buy that? Uh, we just like to, I'd love to know that. And uh, uh, flag bags, the names of God flag bags. Now I don't actually make those. We have a partner. They're really, really, really well made. They're such good quality and we have until the end of the month the names of God flag bags so you can pick that up on our website and then rounding up the top three was silver uh, just the silver metallic worship flags uh, just a couple of other reminders that you have this month this week only to get to get in on the July when fly your flag Friday to win a free flag um, Look for the posts on Friday and we will be, uh, you'll be entered to win uh, with the rules there. Uh, and there, this, at the end of this, is we're in the last month of the Names of God collection. Can you believe it? It's been such an, a great collection. I have loved being surrounded by the Names of God as I make them for you, as you're getting them, as you're declaring and lifting up His name. I'm making every single one of them and I get to be surrounded by them and I will really miss the presence of the Lord in that sense. Uh, so July 31st, next Tuesday, that'll be the last day that you'll be able to get most of the flags. Also this month, 
is the birthday month. If you're not part of the VIP club, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. So I'll have some links. I'll set up the links for that uh, as soon as I'm, I've posted the video uh, so that you can get in on that, get the get these for the last 10 the last few days for the, for 10 percent off and also retiring is going to be El Olam also part of the names of God but it is the feature flag for July and that's all of that is going to disappear as of July 31st and so that kind of runs out what you need to know this week we have Friday is um, Practice What You Praise by Candace Johnson. She is the author of this book. It's, it's a great book. If you haven't, even if you haven't read it, uh, please join us on Friday for the online book club. There'll be information in the group so you'll know how to get a hold of us. And Candace will be talking to us about her book. So hopefully, even if you haven't read it, it'll be great to hear what her thoughts are. Don't you ever want to ask questions from the author about about their characters and, and what's going through their heads. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've met her last month, so I'm, I get to see her again online, so that'll be fun. And, and I am answering the question in the group. If you have a question that you want answered, I would love to be able to do that in the weekly, but this week's question and answer is going to be for Mina Copeland Crocker. I'm assuming that you probably just go by Mina but I can say all three names. Uh, and she had some frustration with not, with only having a few basic moves and then not feeling comfortable, not knowing how to expand the repertoire and how to do the moves. And so uh, we, I won't be teaching you a lot of the moves because um, maybe we'll start to do a bit more of that, but I wanted to give you the number one tip for that is based on all flagging moves. So no matter where you are in the spectrum, our desire is that we're going to be able to teach you and help you and guide you into greater moves, greater uh, expressions with the worship flags. But you need to know the number one tip. And the number one tip, it's a figure eight in the wrist. So all of the action is in the wrist. And I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm going to have to step back and I have the silver flags. I put, picked up my silver flags just to showcase the, the third bestseller this week. Um, and so it's all in the wrist. So if you happen to have been a baton twirler, then you have an advantage over the rest of us because these flags don't have a twirly pole. Uh, it's the flag pole is actually sewn in. So you require the figure eight. And so your basic moves. So I'm only going to do with one hand, but in front of me, you can see I'm doing a really big figure eight. So again, it looks like this. And to the side, still figure eight. And then you can get even more technical. And I know that this is like a great little move. It looks like there's fabric flying everywhere, but it still follows the same basic figure eight. Another one that I know that I teach in one of my classes is ascending and descending and it seems as if it's a little bit difficult to get that going because you it seems like you're just going up and down. Now it's not going to do that because the wind Let's move this way. But still you have to go up and it's a slight figure eight. It, you go up with your wrist up and then you turn you got your figure eight and you're coming down with your uh, your wrist now facing the sky, wrist facing bottom, turn it around, that's your figure eight. So then when you do your, your ascending, descending, you actually get the flags going up and down instead of getting caught on, on the flags like that as, as if you're just going up and down. So Mina, I really hope that that actually helps you a little bit. It's a figure eight, that's the number one tip all flagging moves are based on that one and then you can get into a lot more complicated things so maybe next week we're going to start do, teaching you a few more things if you have a question i'd love to answer it in the weekly if you have anything that you want to talk to us about uh, feel free uh, until then have a great week and remember names of god el Alam featured flag and the 10 percent all going 
uh, no longer available after July 31st. Love you guys. Stay on fire.